Bugger over here at Kalamazoo, Sunday afternoon, January 27th. Got the uh, Bob Evans barn to ourselves, it looks like, for the time being. Let's walk in there and look at the goats. I don't see any pigs on display. They have some very nice exotic pigs. I'm wondering if it's because of uh, where the kids have been playing in the snow, but swine flu, do you think? So I got a new wallet and it's a trifold um, nylon and it's corona, like coronavirus. And I don't drink and uh, I wonder what that will do to the corona business. It'll be the, like the word for the year. Um, the Dickies, like my replacement, would have been twice as much. But So they have a little heater in here and there's a few sparrows that are invading the exhibit. But beautiful imitation in you know, barn. Look at these guys. There's a pair of these. The other one's at my feet. I feel like a shepherd. Uh, yeah, they have some really cool pigs. These, This pair here is pretty cool too. They all are. Kind of impressive. And then these guys over here kind of look like they need sheared. That's, they're, they're a longer hair. Uh, a sheep instead of a goat. That agora. Fur, uh, so I haven't had any uh, sheep for a while, and a, a lamb, and a goat. I think the goat goat meat's like the most consumed meat in the world. What's this guy? Oh, this is a really cute one, isn't he? Oh my gosh. If you like blondes. Or she. Yes, you're very sexy goat. Was that hay from the 3699 Ranch? Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh, what's this guy doing? He's up to no good. This is a belly, you know it. Hello, we don't have any food for you today. Belly. No bugs in here, but a few... Uh, sparrows and then outside they have like a almost like a fake those are fake bats hanging from the the barn they have fake bats for some reason I think they're to scare the uh, and the bats huddle up in a thing they'd be in a bat house wouldn't they if they were real or somewhere away for the winter that's a beautiful pair isn't they and there's some exotic cattle out here that are uh, short-legged from Ireland. Not sure if I ought to get rid of the beard or not, or whatever it is. But this building here is built to look like a covered bridge, I'm thinking. It's a chicken coop where we started, and this is the popular petting zoo in the summertime. There are quite a few people here right now. Sunday afternoon. They let you walk right in there. Here's the short horn cattle or they're, they're, they're pulled. This is showing donors. Some of them are into the six figures there. Pepsi donated to this. Oh wow, there's an upstairs in the barn with like an office. Well, that's the hay mow upper. Nice job on everything. This is a cow. And I think the other one's a bull I'm just guessing I haven't went around and checked probably a steer but this is a female short-legged from Ireland exotic cow they have the brush for scratching going back to check out some elk and uh, yeah I just really like the red one I kind of like the red cattle and that's a real pretty picture but it's just and yeah he's been pulled uh, go over and look at the chickens real quick too they're in here by, there's a school heater in this building. There's plenty of air flowing. But yeah. Okay, they've got the lamp inside of a bucket. And some nice fat chickens in there. And a waterer in the back. And a rubber pan with their scratch. And a piece of plastic for them to lay under the light if they want. 
but they're so big they're probably plenty warm and this is kind of showing the uh, the breeds of chickens that's a weird Orpton don't remember that one New Hampshire's and Rhode Island Reds are all named after New England aren't they this is like the original zoo here and I, I read where it started in 27 and they they tout 7,000 animals these are just numbers I'm seeing in books or online I mean but yeah I would guess that to be a I, I was gonna get come around here to yeah that must be a steer from Ireland the red the red one they're pet cattle and uh, thanks for watching my videos everyone Burgard Ripley up here on the hill where the original zoo used to be and uh, what's today known as Powell, Ohio. It's part of the railroad track back here. And uh, they had a good idea when they built this, I think. They really did. It's held up well. The, the red still looks vivid and beautiful. Out here at the Columbus Zoo.